on November 14, 2019, thousands of players found themselves stranded on the continent of Zaya. With no memory of our previous adventures, we were forced to compete against each other for wealth and eternal glory. But this was no ordinary competition. Now, each player no longer had the ability to trade with others. Each player was given a list of tasks, and by completing these tasks, players could earn points. These points could unlock relics, powerful abilities granting each player a way to carve their own path all the way to the Chambers of Zarek, a dungeon that is said to hold the most powerful items in the land. If you can survive. Welcome to the Twisted League, player. You have two months. Here we are, boys. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. There's a league tab. You get points for gaining levels. Okay. Holy crap. How long do they think they're people are going to play this? <laughs> Jesus. Damn. 16 minute Chambers of Xeric solo. Which one should we choose, boys? I have no idea. I feel like mobility is going to be the biggest thing early game, so I'm going to go for this. Alright, we got Endless Endurance. So, I guess you have to be in the top 1% to get the Dragon Tier. First thing I'm doing is getting some GP. 40 experience each, that's amazing. So, I should probably tell you right now, I have no plan. <laughs> I have not planned a single thing for this, so most of this is going to be up to, to whatever. Whatever I want. Should probably set up my F keys real quick, just so they're ready to go. Hey, we completed a league task. Oh, so we have to get 400 points until my next relic. Oh, damn. I'm gonna go back into the castle and see if I can actually get some better thieving XP. I know that we have the uh, master farmer in the other place, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh, cake stall sounds nice. Okay, so I'll probably just be thieving until the until I figure out something to do. But I figure this way I, I can get a bunch of food in the bank. That way I'm. I just have it ready to. Oh, there's a silk stall. What am I doing with my life? There's 30 thieving. Okay, boys. New game plan is to do the client of Korand quest. I think that's just going to be a decent quest to start out with. And it'll get us started on some favor. So may as well go do it. <laughs> Dude, this guy is having a lot of fun, bro. <laughs> have you any quests for me? All right, we're gonna rush this as fast as possible. Where do I get a feather? All right, boys, we are on a mission to find a feather. Okay, there, apparently, there's a feather in the Warrens. So I'm gonna go do that. If you don't remember, it's like the, play, it's like the sewers that you visit during the Queen of Thieves quest. Um, I'm not sure if you can go down there without starting the quest, so I would think you could, unless it says you have no reason to go down there. Yeah, you have no reason to go down there. Yeah, so you can't go down that sewer. So I'm gonna head to Northwest Hosidius. Apparently there's a chicken hut somewhere. Oh, I found him. There we go. Alright, let's see how long it takes us to kill this chicken. Alright. Wait, no, we still need the feathers. I didn't get feathers? I guess they're not a 100% drop, huh? They're one and two. Okay, we just need one feather. So I'm going straight back for to Port Piscarilius. Oh yeah, you have to go to the general store, that's right. It's been a little while since I did this quest. Okay, now we head back to Horus. Let's see here, where's the store dude? Is it this guy? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. That's four, just need Arceus. And I think I can yeah, I can run this way. And then after that, we're gonna head to Veos again. I am so glad I chose the run energy. This quest would literally be torture. I definitely should have brought some coins, but there's herb lore supplies here as well. So that is very useful. Return to Veos, we shall. All right, now we just head to the dark altar. All right, let's activate this orb. Ta-da. Oh yes, beautiful. All right, here we are, boys. Oh, there's Eric. Boom. Oh, wait. What do I use these lamps on? All right. 
I think, yeah, I think we're gonna use this on Piscarilius. Let's do it. Next, we're gonna go for the Queen of Thieves quest. I'm just, don't mind me, I'm just looking it up. Well, I'm gonna need 15 Hunter and 25 cooking to get this stew. Well, I'm gonna need Hunter for the favor, but. Oh, wait a second, boys. We can get 25 cooking, like with the 20% favor, we can access the store that you can use to cook stuff. And if that's the case, then I can get really high cooking levels like right off the bat. Let's go see if we can do this. I'm sure it might be bought out. I don't know if the Iron Man thing applies. What? Oh, I don't got coins. Okay, so we're gonna go get 25 cooking really quick. Um, I guess the best place is probably fishing. Yeah, it's probably fishing. I'm gonna grab my net from the bank. All right, I think I'm gonna use one of these on Herblore. That gets us the requirement for the achievement diary. We're also gonna need 15 Hunter. That way we can skip the core end woodland and just go straight for the sandworms at Piscarilius once we finish this quest. Time to figure out how to train cooking. All right, I got a full load of shrimp. I'm not gonna cook them on the fire. That's what noobs will do. I'm going to a cooking range or I'm gonna bank them for that. Wait, was there one back there? God dang it. <laughs> this is why I chose the infinite run energy people. I am not the smartest cookie. <laughs> I'd end up wasting a lot of time if I didn't choose it, so. Ooh, that dude has the fruit stall. Okay, we're still gonna burn them, but we have a less chance of burning them, so. And I just realized it's really nice that they got rid of the little level, so I don't have to keep clicking every time. Nice, we shouldn't be burning them after this, this load, probably. Fishing on the beach. Fishing on the beach. Got that baritone voice, boys. The spaghetti. All right, well, I'll be back when I have 25 fishing. Sorry, 25 cooking. Hey, there we go. 20 fishing. That means we got another league task complete. Now we just need 25 cooking and should be finishing that up once we get another load of shrimp. Then we can go back to the Queen of Thieves quest and get a hunter favor. There we go, 25 cooking. That should let us do the quest now because you need a stew. So we'll go do that right now. This should be pretty quick actually. Uh, we also need a bowl of water and a chicken. I guess I should have looked into that. Do you think you can buy a stew from this dude? From Bast? <gasps> oh, you can. Well, in that case, I don't think I needed to get 25 cooking, but you know, whatever. Here's your stew, sir. Okay, now we can go down the manhole. Oh, there's a fish stall down here. I forgot about that. Let's talk to this dude. It's murder this dude. Um, softly. That's done. There we go. Queen of Thieves complete. <laughs> Why are you still here? Why are you still here? 38 thieving. That actually works out perfectly because I can do master farmers now. So I don't have to do it. So I guess we got the perfect level for that. Also, we got 2k cash. I might go spend that on some feathers, but I'm not sure 100%. There's some buckets. Okay, we're gonna be buying these things. There we go, 700 feathers. So barbarian fishing might actually be a really good thing to do early game because you'll get the agility experience, which is not that useful, but you get the shortcuts unlocked in some parts of Zaya. So there's that. And by the way, that's like the only way to train agility. And then you also get strength XP as well, which is just nice, I guess. Also, I'm gonna use this page on the Karenz me memoirs. So now I can teleport to Piscarilius. And now we have 30% Piscarilius favor. I'm gonna drop this stuff off in the bank real quick. And then let's go dig up some sandworms. Hopefully this dude sells a spade. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't have a spade. So for any of you guys wondering, there's a spade spawn right here. I'll show you on the map. Right in Watson's house. And I'm running away. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Go back. And let's teleport to Piscarilius. I hope I get GP from this because otherwise I'm going to run out of GP. Here we go, boys. 50 hunter XP per, per one. That's crazy. Imagine not choosing the run energy for this one. <laughs> I'm totally, I might bank these buckets of sand if I can afford to. There's way too many people here. Oh, we got a load of buckets. 
be nice if favor was multiplied too, but I, I don't think it is. And I'm out of GP. Might need to figure something out. There's bound to be some men hanging around here. And I'm just thinking it's gonna be so fun to do raids with people on this. Like just seeing the, the scuffed gear that everyone has, like man, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, it's only natural that I, Ingus, the pirate YouTuber, goes for the Piscarillius favor first, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, a random event? If I get coins, this will be a dream. Oh, a sapphire, dang it. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. There's 40 thieving, which means we just got a twisted task done as well. Ooh, that was a lot of points. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop at about 1k GP. Because the buckets cost 2 GP each. I'm sure I'll need some more GP at some point, so... Okay, I have 869 GP. This should be good enough. So we're gonna go hunt sandworms until we get our 100% favor. And then we'll lock in Piscarillius. And we'll move on to the next quest. Let's see, is this gonna be it? 99.6%, man. Alright, let's go lock in our favor. And then I'm gonna go check out Chins if they're too busy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to Ascent of Arceus first because that gives Hunter XP, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the library to get our Arceus favor. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. It's probably best that we go do some combat for now. Don't mind me. I'm just a, just a lone pirate living in the slums. Ah, this feels better. Back in my natural habitat. Nice, got some mind runes. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a pretty decent place to train for the time being. All right, there we go, 20 strength. Pretty nice. I'm gonna switch up to attack a little bit. There's 20 attack. Now we just need 20 defense and then I'll be back to questing. Also getting a nice amount of herbs from killing these men in here. And I haven't seen anyone else in here, so it's a pretty, pretty secret spot. Oh boys, we just got an easy clue scroll. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go do it after I, after I finish off this level real quick. Okay, we made it to 15 defense. I'm gonna go do this clue scroll real quick. And then we'll be off to do the Ascent of Arceus quest. All right, we got the next clue. It's in the middle of Korend. I'm gonna quickly defeat this sand crab real quick. That way I can get the achievement done. What's the next step? Port Piscarillius again. Let's go. I would use my teleports, but I don't have any runes to redo this. So I'm not gonna just use up all the teleports before I have a way to replenish them. So, hey, there's our first casket. Let's not waste any time. Let's open it. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. All right, let's go do the quest. I don't think we have enough arrows to get 20 range, so I'm just gonna go continue on what I'm doing, but that studded set is really nice. 250 total level. Oh wait, I have to get the favor first. That's right. Making some good progress on these books here. I think I'm 32.5% already. Nice, 31 magic. Okay, let's go start the quest actually. Oh, good fight, man. <laughs> Got destroyed by that bat. Oh, let me fight these dudes. And there's 20 defense. I'm gonna switch back over to strength. Oh man, got poisoned. You know, while I'm here, I may as well go get a Slayer task from Konar. <laughs> there are no easy tasks, but uh, go kill 34 cows. Uh-oh, we gotta defeat this level 30 now. And he's down, back to the mountain. There we go, the Ascent of Arceus complete. 33 Hunter and 15 Runecrafting. I probably should have waited to use those books earlier, um, but that's okay. <laughs> now we use this on my book, use the favor. So now we're sitting at 65% favor. So we'll do the books until we get that done and should be good to go. We got four messages right there, that's funny. And then now we're just going for the favor. We're at 80%, so shouldn't take too long. And we'll dump the rest of those XP tombs into magic. I uh, just need one more. And there's 100% favor. I'm gonna keep using up these books until I run out, basically. Just like that, all right. <laughs> Let's go complete, let's go lock in our favor. And I think I'll probably buy an air or a fire staff or something. And maybe some earth runes too, or some any runes. 
Alright, two favors down, three more to go. And Earth Staff's still pretty decent. So I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Okay, so next thing I think we're gonna do is do some fly fishing. Because I have 700 feathers to use up. And this way we can get closer to 48. Also, I can sell all these fish to Piscarilius now that I have 100% favor. So yeah, I'll just be fishing until I pretty much use all these feathers up. Hopefully I can get 48 out of this. All right, we got our 43 fishing. So next up, we just gotta get a couple hunter levels real quick, 35, and then we're gonna go switch over to aerial fishing. But before we even do that, I wanna get 20 range so I can wear my studded armor set just to look uh, a little bit cooler. Well, I got like no arrows left, so I guess we're, I guess we're stuck at 14 range. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. I can always come back. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go finish off these two hunter levels at Sandworms. I could go to Copper Longtails or to Ruby Harvests, but I just have a feeling those are gonna be way too packed. So I'm gonna try doing um, some Sandworms. Plus, I'll be able to bank some crafting XP as well. So probably just do that for a little while. Except for the fact that I have no coins. Yeah. We're gonna go to Core and Woodland then. I honestly have no idea how packed it's gonna be down there though. All right, there's our bird snares. I think you get something from here too. I believe there's one more thing in this house, but I'm not. Oh, box traps, that's right. So right now we're just gonna get our traps real quick and then we're gonna head to Copper Longtails. Hopefully they're not packed. Yeah, I don't think you can get any butterfly jars. Hold up, we got Evil Bob. Nice, it's the Pete one. Could get something good. Four Snapdragon, okay. I mean, I think these birds are absolutely terrible. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. 300 XP, yeah, it seems kind of bad. Okay, He's, they're coming in faster, okay. All right, one more, one more bird. There it is, 35 Hunter. We can do aerial fishing, which means it's time to book it over to that place. Let's bank all this real quick. All right, let's see if anyone else has had this idea. All right, just gotta pick up some king worms. There we go, 40 hunter. I think I'm gonna be doing this for a while because right now I'm getting about 100k XP per hour when I focus. Just got an elite clue, but uh, can't. I don't have any of that, so. Not really a point, I might just, I'll probably just keep it or I don't know. I might just drop it honestly, cause I don't know if I can do it with the bob shirt. Hey, there we go, 51 hunt. All right, we got 51 Hunter. Now we're headed to Barbarian Fishing over at Mount Quidamortum. I mean, obviously we got to run there, which kind of sucks, but once we get there, we're gonna camp for a little bit, get 56 fishing and hopefully some agility and strength levels. Yeah, it should be pretty good. We're gonna do that until 56 fishing. And once we get that, we will be heading back to the lake to get some Hunter levels. Not really sure how to get up here. I'm guessing it's through that way. And I'm probably gonna die, because I just ran into lizard territory, so good fight me. Good fight, Clue. Yeah, bad idea to not bring food. That's okay though, we're just gonna chill in the items kept on death, so we can stall out the poison. Yeah, that kinda sucks. Note to self, bring food. <laughs> And don't run into the lizards. <laughs> We're still chilling here. Just gotta wait for that to go up and... Eat some food. There we go, we're good now. I've just realized that I probably need some cooking levels to cut those, those fish. So, I mean, hopefully I don't need anything. Nope, oh, not this way. <laughs> Almost did it again. This run energy is really nice though. Running through the swamp, getting killed. <laughs> There's some big frogs. Wow, this is some crazy XP. Let's uh, set up the tracker real quick. Set up the current XP and we want 56. All right, well, I'll be here until level 56. Um, I'm gonna reset my tracker so I can see how much XP it is. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, guys, this doesn't seem like it's that much faster, honestly. I'm only getting 115K per hour. And I mean, 12K strength XP and 12K agility XP is not bad, but it just doesn't seem like this is worth it right now. Okay, I am back at regular fly fishing and I'm just gonna be doing this until 56 fishing, honestly, cause 
Um, I think it's a lot faster because you can collect the salmon. Hey, there we go. 55 fishing, one more level. I'm tempted to go back and just try hard and get the fishing level, but this is still pretty good XP. It's, it's 130k. And disregard what I said, honestly, because Barbarian is definitely better at this level than this. I mean, this is slightly faster fishing XP, but maybe by like 10 or 20k XP per hour. I mean, I guess it's worth it, but Barbarian, you're also getting the, the agility and the strength. So I would definitely just go to Barb if you're trying to get that 56 or whatever level you're going for. Hey, there we go. 56 fishing. All right, so the plan is we're going back to aerials because we can now catch the second tier of aerial fishing. Yes, so at 56 fishing and 51 hunter, we can catch the common tench. And the main reason I'm doing that is because I'm not actually, I don't care about fishing. I actually care about hunter because we want to get some chin chompas before it gets too packed. That way we can boost to 99 range right off the bat. All right, we're here. We're testing out the, the XP rates with the new fish. I don't know the rate exactly of how often you'll catch it, but it's bound to increase my XP per hour, that's for sure. Because at the moment, I can't think of a faster way to train Hunter, although I haven't even caught a, a tench yet. There's one. Okay, I've been thinking about it, and I'm gonna actually start Chinchampas now. Granted, you don't get the fishing XP, but you'll still be getting good Hunter XP. 60 Hunter would be nice, so I can get four traps instead of three. But I think at this level, it'll be fine just to do regular chinchampas. I mean, if the chinchampas are really bad, then we can always just go back. It's not a big deal. Plus, I just need something a little bit, a little bit less click intensive, honestly. So looking forward to that. All right, we're here at chinchampas. It looks like there's a few other people that have the same exact idea. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Got dragon cup right here. Nice. Hey, there's a medium task. That's actually good. I don't know how good these are gonna be, so we'll kind of feel it out, see if these are worth doing for one hour. Okay, so I actually just ran back to the bank and grabbed a tinderbox and an axe. This way, I can be getting some passive wood cutting and fire making and fletching experience while I'm waiting in between the chinchampas. I figure that's just the, the best use of my time. Since I'm only at three traps right now, it's not extremely fast where I'm constantly getting chinchampas, but it's still good. I think it's still decent enough to keep doing so the only issue is actually cutting down a tree yeah so basically this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next <laughs> probably like a few hours honestly I would be streaming most of this but because of the nature <laughs> of the chinchampas um, I don't want anyone to really know about this spot until I get my fill you know what I'm saying because basically once I get my chins I'm not coming back if I go all the way to 99 Hunter, I should have enough for 99 defense, 99 HP, and 99 range. I would imagine I would. If you do the math, it's 1K per chin and 13 mil XP. So that turns out to be 13,000 regular chinchampas to 99 Hunter. It should only be like 6,000 chinchampas to get 99 range. So basically, we should be able to get 99 range within like the first week or so. Right now, we're, pro we're probably getting like 150 chins per hour at this level, level 59. Once we get four traps, that might go up to 200, probably like 200 chins per hour. Hey, there we go, 60 Hunter. This, my friends, is gonna be insane. All right, I've just reset the XP tracker. So now we're gonna find out how much four traps will get us. And my guess is about 200K XP per hour. And the thing is like we're leveling up as like throughout the whole process. So the XP rates are just gonna be constantly increasing. I think with 80 Hunter, we'll be able to hit 300K XP per hour, but that kind of depends on who is, <laughs> how many people have thought about this. <laughs> And it might be the case that this place might just get so busy that it's not even worth training anymore. So at that point, we'll definitely stop and switch over to something else. But in the meantime, since we're, we have our own spawn, this is pretty dope. Guys, so I've been doing this for a little while since I got 60 and I'm already 64 
because I am getting 264k XP per hour right now. How crazy is that? And this is only at 64. By 80, I should be catching at least 300 chins per hour and I'll have five boxes. That'll be wicked. So I've switched over to fire making because I hit 20 fletching. I have about 3,000 arrow shafts and I think this is going to be good enough just to get the range levels we need in order to use these chins later on. I'm expecting that we'll be able to hit 50 by the time that we are done with chins for sure. That'll be nice because then we have access to winter toad right off the bat and we didn't really waste any time too because we've been getting all these chins. Just keep picking them up. This is great, man. Just <laughs> I'm just going with the chins, bro. I'm surprised that no one, well, first of all, I'm surprised that I just got 69 Hunter already. Second of all, I'm surprised no one else is here, but uh, I'm gonna knock on some wood because I don't want anyone to come here. Please, no one come here. Well, you can come here later, but wait till I'm done. Hey, there we go. 70 hunter that's pretty dope um you guys know how much i hate hunter right like <laughs> why am i doing this to myself i don't know well i just learned an important lesson for iron man don't log out with your traps bro <laughs> you're gonna lose them and I'm probably gonna lose my spot too. Ah, I can't believe I totally forgot about that. Uh, at least we have unlimited run and at least we have some more boxes in here. So word on the street is I'm ranked 17 hunter. So I think leaks have been out for about 12-ish hours, 13 hours. That is right. An excellent use of my time. But sure, um, I'm having lots of fun. This is my least favorite skill. Um, that's all I have to say for myself. I'm doing it for the content, boys. I'm doing it for the content. Guys, 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 look at here. We got a bird's nest, a banana tree seed. Oh, that's good. That's actually really good. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's, it's good because it's low level. Yeah, 33 for the banana tree. That should give us a pretty crazy amount of XP. This guy in the corner has the right idea. He has a steel ax and he's been chopping this oak. So he's probably already 50 fire making by now, but I still have the bronze one. It sucks and <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> hey, 71 hunter, I can now trap imps, but that doesn't really help me. So we'll just continue to press on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with these regular trees here because oaks just don't cut fast enough with this this bronze one, so. Oh yes, this is exactly what I need. Oh, we got a diamond, boys. We got a diamond. That is going to some good use. So apparently I've been doing, <laughs> apparently this is Seer, wait. Apparently this is Sears. I don't believe it though. I'm gonna have to check him out. Hey, that is 74, Hunter. We're getting close, getting closer. Ah! Hey, 75, Hunter. I can catch Merng bats. Yum. That's actually pretty good in Chambers of Zeric, so can't complain. Well, lads, we are still on the road for 80, Hunter. 774K left. That is equivalent to approximately three hours on the dot. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that today. Oh, we got Quizmaster. Ooh, should we do it? I'm tempted. Hold on here. <laughs> what can I get from this? We're going mystery box, because you can get something off the rare drop table. All right, boys, let's open this mystery box. Oh, that's a big disappointment. All right, the last one for 77 Hunter. We are so close. And by close, I mean we're going for 84. 
we're not even halfway there. But it gets faster once we hit the 80, so we'll just keep on going. I'm actually about to head to bed because I've literally been playing all day since it came out. But you know what they say, you always gotta get your sleep. So I'm gonna go to bed early and just wake up early tomorrow.